हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम सो यू मस्ट हैव सीन वाट इज एन इवेंट एन इवेंट कुड बी ऑलमोस्ट एनी थिंग फ्राम डिस्क्रिप्टिव सच एज रोलिंग अ डाइस टू न्यूमरिकल सच एज द आउटकम इज थ्री सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस अ न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट दैट विल अलाउ इवेंट्स टू बी डिफाइंड इन मोर कंसिस्टेंट मैनर एंड दे विल बी ऑलवेज न्यूमरिकल the new concept is that of random variable and it will constitute a powerful tool in the solution of practical probabilistic problems so what is this random variable uh very loosely speaking a random variable is a numerical quantity that take random value what does it mean so let's understand this through an example let's suppose uh we have an experiment and in this experiment we are picking a student at random according to some probability law and record their weight so let's suppose we have according to our experiment the all the possible outcome or the sample space will be all the student let's suppose we have this student this student and this student and maybe this student right and uh, just to give them as a label we can call this student a and we can call this student b and we can call this student c and we can call this student d so what's the experiment we are performing we are picking a student and we are recording their weight in kg so what is the probability that we will pick a student a that will have some associated probability and what will the probability that we will pick a student b that will also have some associated probability so the overall point is that the experiment that we are doing here is we are picking a student right so maybe we will perform this experiment and maybe at the first pick we will pick this student a right once we will have this student a what we will do we will measure his weight and let's suppose that the weight of a particular student is a number that is little w so we carry out the experiment and what we found that we have picked this student a and we measure his weight and we note it down again we carry out this experiment and maybe uh in this experiment we have got this student student c and we measure his weight that is 72 right so if you see here these are the possible outcomes of the experiment right so you can think like this so we have some black box here and in this black box we are having some input and we are having some output and if you see the process what we are doing we are performing some experiment and after performing some experiment maybe one of the possible outcome will occur so we did the experiment and this event a has up occurred right so let's say to this black box the input is outcome of the experiment and we measure the weight and we have this output that is a small w and for this particular experiment 
we have got this student a what will be this small w that will be 62 right so what's what is this black box so what this black box is doing is that it is taking some input and producing this output and what's the input here the input here is the outcome of that experiment what could be input maybe in input could be this a this student b this student c or maybe this student d and what's the output output is this small w that is the weight of the student right so overall point is that we can think this black box as a abstract object so let's suppose that we are calling this as capital w this abstract object as capital w so what this capital w has functionality that it takes the input and what's the input input is the outcome of the experiment and it is producing some output right so here w could be a weighing machine maybe a weight machine right or let's understand this using let's suppose we have a function right and that function name is a square root right and we don't we don't know uh, what is inside the square root functionality but what we do we call this function with a parameter that takes a number and it produces the output that is the square root of that number right so we are seeing this square root function as a abstract object right we are not worrying about this what is inside this function we are just making use of this function and we are putting the parameter to it and it is giving me some output right so the overall point is that here this capital w what we call is the random variable and you can think this random variable as a abstract object that takes the input and what's the input input is the outcome of experiment for this particular example what's the outcome of an experiment maybe what so what's the experiment here we are picking the students so outcome of the experiment could be a could be b student b could be student c could be student d so any of these can be the outcome right and we are not worrying about this what is happening inside this function and how it is measuring the weight and all this thing although i can say that let's say we will have some weight machine and mm, a student will get on to the weight machine and we will measure that so this is the functionality of w right and it is producing some output the point here is that you will not have to look into how this random variable that uh, you do not have to look into the details of this random variable that how it is converting the uh, outcome of an experiment to some real number it could be any function right it will take the input and what will be the input input will be the outcome of an experiment and it will produce some number right so we have this experiment we could have so for uh i think uh till here you must have understood what is random variable so here that in our probabilistic experiment we can have some we can have several associated random variable let's say we carry out this experiment and now we define a random variable h right 
and you can think again this is again as a black box as a abstract object and what it is doing that it takes the outcome so maybe we carry out the experiment and what we got is this student we carry out the experiment and what's the experiment we are picking the student according to some probabilistic law and we got this student right and uh, we got this student and we measure the height of that student and how we are doing that we do not have to worry about that right and we got some 1.7 meter and let's say that height of the student is little h right and again we carry out the experiment maybe in this time we got this student c and we measure the height and how we are doing that we do not have to worry and the height is 1.8 meter so overall point is here uh, a probabilistic experiment can have several associated random variable if you see here in this case what's the random variable here we have random variable that is w right so what is happening here we are carrying out our experiment w is taking some input and it producing some output and we do not have to worry about that what is happening inside this w you can think this w and itself in the problem you will not give in that what is happening this inside the w so you can think this w as a abstract object or maybe a black box so what what is happening so this w is a random variable it is taking the input as outcome of an experiment and it is producing some output right so we carry out the experiment maybe we will get this event c we will get this outcome c and this is outcome will get get mapped to some number right the next point i told you that the same experiment could have several associated random variable so we can have this random variable h also so what this random variable is doing so it takes input as an outcome of an experiment and it produces the output we carry out the experiment and we get this as a outcome and we put this into the this function that is function h or you can say the random variable h and it is producing some output right so the next point is that given some random variable we can create a new random variable as a function of the original random variable let's understand this through an example let's suppose we define a new random variable that is b and it is a function of our original random variable that is w and h so let's say it is b is defined as w divided by h square so this b is nothing but you can say as a body mass index that is the weight over a square root of height right so this b is again a random variable and if you see this b is also a function of the same sample space how you can think like this so you carry out the experiment you will get the outcome you carry out the experiment you will get some outcome let's suppose we get this student a once you get the outcome you know what will be the a small w right once you get the outcome let's suppose this student a you know what will be the a small h and and once you know this w and this h then you know this b so you see this random variable b is also function 
on the same sample space right so the overall point is that given the given some random variable we can create a new random variable as a function of original random variable right so we carry out the experiment and uh, maybe we will get uh, a student a as an outcome and once you know the outcome you know the w and once you and also you will know the h and once you know these both quantity then you will also know the b right similarly again maybe you will carry out and the experiment and the outcome of the experiment is this c so once you know the outcome you know what will be the w what this w will take as a value right and you will also know what will be the what value this h will take once you know that what outcome what outcome has occurred right so once you know this w and h you know also the b right so so far what we have understood we have understood that what is random variable and we saw that for a probabilistic model we can have several associated random variables and we also see that the given the random variables we can create a new random variable as a function of the original random variable so a random variable associates a value or we can say a number to every possible outcome so the point is that now we can define the event in more consistent manner and they will be always numerical right and mathematically what if you see a, a, a random variable is a function uh, that maps the sample space to s some real number right it takes the outcome of an experiment and it maps to some uh, real number so mathematically you can see uh, a random variable as a function that maps the sample space to real number and it can take any the random variable can take maybe the discrete value and the continuous value so first we will see uh, the discrete random variable and after that we will be look into go through the conti uh, continuous random variable now the this notation part is very important this capital x here the capital w and this capital h these are the random variable and this a small w and this is small h is the output of that random variable right so in back of your mind you can think simply this as a function right that is taking input as a outcome and it is producing some numeric value some real number right and also we described that we can have several random variable defined on the same sample space like here if you see we have the same experiment we are doing the same experiment but we have defined several random variable like w and h and b and again we saw that a function of one or several random variable is also a random variable so if you see this b is a function of this random variable w and h and b is also itself a random variable right so we will do more interesting thing about the random variable in upcoming videos that is all in this video thank you